let's now look at uh, retrieving data from multiple tables using the join condition. The sequels, uh, so far we have seen, um, I mean from a single table we have looked at uh, different uh, functions and then we restricted using uh, a var class and then we used um, the group by particularly for aggregate functions. Uh, these are uh, much simpler but generally uh, when you use um, SQL, the I mean the data will be residing in multiple tables, not in just in single table. The reason is uh, you just can't have just one single table and with thousands of uh, columns. Um, I mean application is not built like that. You need to have multiple tables and you need to have join condition. If you ask the reason for it, that is due to the process of uh, normalization. You just can't uh, um, keep storing redundant data or repeated data uh, in the database with just uh, a single table which is going to, um, I mean as the database grows, what will happen is um, it could uh, probably like, um, so probably that could uh, impact the performance of uh, the um, application and that is where uh, one needs to have multiple tables and when you retrieve the data it is through the join condition. So we will see uh, there are different joins. One is the natural join between the two tables which is the most common one when you do perform a natural join um, and again this is as per the SQL um, 199 uh, standard and uh, that is just the ISO standard so don't uh, bother really about that. So the first one is uh, the natural join which is the common one and then there are giants with the using, using class, on class uh, and then the others like left outer join, right outer join and full join, full outer join and cross join which gives you the Cartesian product. Out of this, yes, uh, the natural joins meaning there will be uh, a common column like uh, for example uh, in the employee table and the department table, the department ID will be the uh, common column. So, you uh, with the natural join will automatically use that, um, I mean use that uh, to join the two columns and retrieve the data. So, so natural joins is one of them uh, using an on, on class instead of using you could, uh, we'll see that uh, you can specify the join condition itself which is the column if you know which is the uh, common column you can use that column we'll see that and then of course the outer join. Uh, the natural join is kind of a uh, called as inner join, we will see that as well and there is also an outer join. So obtaining multiple tables is what I said, this is you have employees and jobs. The job ID is the common column, so you want to use job ID to retrieve all the details, employee ID, job ID and job title because job title is not present in the employee table, it is in the uh, job table. So, the link is the job ID um, and you use that link to retrieve the uh, data. So, this is the syntax of uh, uh, natural joins uh, and once we get into the example, you will understand it better. So, uh, natural join is based on all columns that have the same name in the two tables. As I said, department ID, in this case, yeah, you would have seen the job ID uh, is the common uh, the same name in the two tables and the data types are same. So then you can use those two uh, to retrieve all the data. So this is a simple one. As we said, um, I mean natural join of jobs, you get this detail. And then um, department, similarly department and uh, department um, ID, we will see that it is a foreign key whereas here it is the primary key in the department table because it references. Uh, the employee table references department, so that's where it is called the foreign key and this is primary key. And um, using, using clause, so these two joins, employee versus department, join with the department and using the department ID, department ID is the common one, so you can use using, there is other approach also, also alternative, you can directly specify uh, the table, uh, give analyze, give analyze over here where clause you can join if you are confident um, of the common column um, then you can directly use this uh, to make the inner join. 
additional conditions then um, yeah you use the on class um, employee where on department id been joined where employee id is 149 uh, it is all there in the resources so you can run through it you can run and once you run through it you will gain more confidence i mean you can try to manipulate and see what happens so that's how uh, you can learn as well so this is another alternative um, as how to do the join condition and there is also a self join as you said self join suppose in the employee table you have a manager id uh, then um, you want to find out the uh, employees with the manager id manager id is a worker table and equal to the employee id you join that and retrieve the data then you use the uh, self join so employee who is the manager instead of the manager id you give the manager name itself then in that case it's a self join you are joining the same table you don't have um, a different table so same table uh, employee and the manager and then based on the manager id um, and employee id because you are joining there is no manager id um, so it's only the employee id so with the employee id you make it as a uh, worker dot uh, because you are trying to have an allies over here employee as an allies then manager id um, you make a join condition so that's a self join because you are trying to retrieve the same data i mean from the same table uh, and trying to because there is one based on the manager id you are trying to have the name listed again so that's where if you look at it manager dot last name here it is worker dot last name worker is a employee table and manager is also an uh, employee table if you look at it here and this is a join condition so you are joining the same table and that's where it is called the self join so that's about uh, the inner joins uh, we will take an example and work through it um, i'll run through the uh, demos as well thank you stay tuned so you can use this uh, file as i said it's there in the resources section so you can download and use them um, for running the query in the uh, apex uh, sql uh, developer or in your client version as well so the first query is this one which i've run and the next query is this one we'll see that so i have run the first query uh, employees with the jobs with a natural join you're not specifying any of the table but uh, the query itself because you are specifying it as a natural join the query itself identifies a common table with the same data type which is the job id table uh, in the both the um, uh, tables you have a common column which is job id and retrieves the data so that's the uh, natural join of doing it and suppose if you have uh, for example uh, if you have something like uh, a if you want to specifically use a department id then you can use using department id in this case almost the query is same the join which means the natural join uh, and you also specify we want to use the department id you can explicitly mention that also and then uh, we'll run this query so this query is being uh, executed so uh, let's give it some time to retrieve uh, the data from the um, database so here it is so you have uh, uh, employee id last name location id department id and um, the common one is the um, department id is what is uh, the join condition um, so you can also have an equivalent one um, so the equivalent one in the sense uh, um, using without uh, specifying the join and i mean as you get more and more practiced you'll be using uh, such a condition um, i mean such a i mean you mentioned the tables and right? so if you uh, it will fetch the uh, almost the same result as the uh, previous one as the previous query you will receive uh, the same kind of um, data is being retrieved so uh, whichever you are comfortable you can use it as well you may also change uh, instead of uh, just giving the department uh, if you look at the department name it's there in the department table whereas department id is present commonly present in both the tables so in case uh, if you want 
the department name instead of uh, department ID because that will make better sense uh, and you have a join condition in place uh, which is basically inner join. So in that case you can also mention from which table that is from uh, B dot uh, department uh, instead of department ID we get the department table itself. So that way um, instead of using something like using clause you can have it in the var class itself and the common um, common column which is enables to join that is where uh, you provide in the var class and retrieve the data. So we will also perform a self join uh, which is the we are trying to retrieve uh, the uh, manager name um, otherwise in the regular um, employee table if you look at it it is just ID is there so instead of uh, the manager uh, ID we just want to have the name and the name is also present in the employee table so ideally the employee name and the manager name uh, we just want to um, print out in that case it's a self join so we will um, it's two though you have mentioned as two different table uh, it's actually the same table which is joined uh, among themselves with a common column of course the uh, employee id is the common column so we use that to retrieve the data so employee and the manager so for king is a manager so these are the he almost has about uh, 14 uh, uh, employees and then uh, kochar as further as well uh, Kochar has how many? Kochar has about uh, five uh, employees. I mean, under 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 him, who is reporting five different um, employees are reporting to Kochar. So this is a self join. So these are basics of join, wherein generally, since I said it's going to have multiple tables are involved and multiple data. Why do we have multiple tables? Is because uh, of the process of uh, normalization we just in an application uh, doesn't have just only one table there are multiple tables are going to be there um, and so the tables will have common columns uh, wherein uh, it will use the uh, foreign key and primary key and there is uh, going to be a relationship between them and um, using that relationship uh, you will ensure that you have a, a select statement um, with a inner join inner join in the sense the common column use the common column um, to retrieve uh, the data based on the join condition. So that's about um, the join that is particularly uh, inner join. We'll progress further. Thank you. So we looked at uh, the inner join. Now we look out for the what is an outer join. So if there are two tables like department and employees, in this case uh, department 190, there's no employees at all. And uh, similarly, um, you could have a situation wherein uh, an employee is not assigned with a department at all. So in that case, if you want to retrieve all the information in, a, in the different table uh, along with whatever uh, is commonly available, uh, then you use uh, the joints. So which table you want to retrieve completely, that is where there is a difference. So we will also look at the difference between the inner join. This I have uh, earlier also discussed. So in case of inner join, the join of two table returning only the match rows are the inner join. Whereas in case of an outer join, a join between the two tables that res returns the results of the inner join as well as the unmatched rows from the left or right is called the left or right based on the condition. If it is left, uh, unmatched rows from the left, it's called the left outer joint. Unmatched rows from the right is called the route right outer joint. So unmatched rows are also returned, then uh, you use the uh, outer joint conditions as well. So a join between the two tables that returns as well as the uh, outer joint is what um, the same uh, statement in a different form it is uh, mentioned in the last um, statement. So moving further, left outer join. So you mentioned that left outer join on department ID. So which means uh, whichever. So this is left employee table in the left. So that's where that left outer join. Uh, uh, so unmatched rows in the left is also being listed. You get the left outer join. 
So you can always um, mention with the plus symbol left outer join um, with the, the uh, either you can you can um, mention this or else the, it is indicated through a plus symbol uh, so that uh, all the uh, matching um, I mean which is not matched also which doesn't have a department also that gets retrieved as well. So left outer join of uh, table B to table A returns all the data of table A without losing the data from the other side has no data. I mean employees who doesn't have a department that is also retrieved. So that's the left outer join. The equivalent is the I mean the, just the opposite is the right outer join. You have uh, the department but there is no employees. So in that case it is called the right outer join. So it's just same left join but switches on the tables are optional. You can use uh, the plus indicator as appropriate. If you are not using specifically or explicitly you are not mentioning uh, the t uh, um, what type of join is that right outer join or left outer join in that case you can use the plus symbol to indicate the join condition. So that's out about the um, left outer join, right outer join. There is also a full outer join uh, which retrieves both of them uh, which are all left out even that is listed is the full outer join. So sometimes when they, you don't have a join condition you get a Cartesian product. The join condition doesn't, uh, you missed out uh, uh, a join condition then you will have a kind of a Cartesian product something all the data is retrieved and this is not supposed to be may not be meaningful. So that's what um, the condition is omitted then you get a, um, a Cartesian product. So uh, I mean uh, if there is uh, you can't derive a meaningful information on Cartesian product. So that means uh, the join condition is uh, omitted. So in that case you need to be careful when having a join condition. When you retrieve the data also you need to cross verify that is very important. Most of the time you could get a Cartesian product so you need to be careful with the join condition. So that's about uh, the joins. So as I said you practice more and more on the, uh, the table joins it becomes much and much easier as well. So the best way is to practice you have the data you have the tables you I mean you just manipulate the joins and see what happens whether you are able to get the desired results uh, which you can think of. So that's how you could practice with the joins. Thank you. Let's now run through the examples with the outer join. So this is the query and explicitly I have mentioned as uh, the outer join uh, that is left outer join. So let's run this and uh, let's see the uh, results um, produced by the this left outer join. So come down to the last and here um, just a second uh, yeah if you look at it uh, here you have uh, grant which is there is no department ID so it is not there. So the left outer join is retrieving all that is there in the left side. We don't have a matching uh, rows on the right. So that is what is the left outer join. So grant has no department in it. So the other way as I said uh, remove uh, this. Uh, you can uh, mention uh, just comma and uh, you have to add a plus indicator and close it. So run this and see what happens. So the command is not properly um, department. The problem uh, is with the I mentioned not mentioned the var class. So you got to mention the var class so here and let's now rerun the query uh, once again and uh, you got the results let's see what about grant yeah the employee grant doesn't have uh, an uh, department assigned to it and now um, you can have right out a join the other option is of course uh, include um, here itself the plus condition 
instead of explicitly mentioning it. So let's uh, run this and see what happens. In that case, yeah, the departments doesn't have the um, uh, the employees. So so department which doesn't have the employees that is the right outer join. So the option is uh, either you could uh, have a plus sign or explicitly mention a right outer join um, with the on class and it should be something similar to it explicitly mention right outer join um, and uh, of course when once you mention that you don't need on you need to have on on class instead of where and you don't need a plus sign to indicate uh, which side uh, you want all the rows to be retrieved as well. So that's about the outer join, left outer join and right outer join. Uh, you would be uh, normally using it um, in some of the business application where you want to retrieve all the rows in a specific tables apart from uh, whatever this satisfies a condition. Thank you. Stay tuned.